veterinarian, people often ask me, how do I get my cat to live longer? The factors for determining the average cat's lifespan are wide and varied. Health, genetics, diet, breed, and whether they're spayed or neutered are just a few of these considerations. However, the single most important factor that helps us answer the question, how long do cats live, is their environment, whether they're an indoor or outdoor cat. What can you do to help your cat live as long as possible? Keep them indoors. Indoor cats often live to be at least 12 years old, and many even past 20 years of age. Here's why. First of all, they're vaccinated. Vaccinating your cat is one of the easiest ways to help him or her live a long, healthy life. Your cat should be administered all of the core vaccines, which are considered vital to all cats and protect against panleukopenia, often called feline distemper, feline leukemia virus, feline calici virus, feline herpes virus, or rhinotracheitis, and rabies. Feline distemper was a leading cause of death in cats before the vaccine became standard, and it's over 99% effective. Currently, feline leukemia, or what we call FELV, is second only to trauma as a leading cause of death, killing 85% of persistently infected cats within three years of diagnosis. The second thing that helps cats live longer, being spayed or neutered. According to the 2013 State of Pet Health Report, neutered male cats live 62% longer than unneutered ones. Spaying and neutering greatly reduces the risks of ovarian, uterus, or even testicular cancer. Female cats that aren't spayed before coming into heat are at a much greater risk for getting mammary gland tumor or breast cancer, which is nearly almost always malignant and cancerous. The third thing that's helpful, having a healthy diet. Your cat should receive a measured amount of both wet and dry food every day. The food should be moisture rich and meat filled, plus high in nutrients like animal-based protein and fat. He should have plenty of access to fresh water, such as standing in bowls or running from a water fountain, so he's rarely dehydrated, which can be a common ailment among older cats. The fourth thing that's important, care and maintenance. With a relatively stress-free environment, your indoor cat should always be able to groom himself, avoiding hairball buildups that can have nasty consequences. His nails should be regularly trimmed. He should also have access to a clean litter box like the litter robot. A clean litter box is essential to good cat health to minimize two medical problems feline lower urinary tract disease, or what we call flute D, or the more life-threatening urinary blockage called feline urethral obstruction, or FUO. The fifth thing that can help your cat live longer is regular veterinary visits. As much as your cat may detest going to the vet, it's so important to have an annual visit. That's because veterinarians can pick up on medical problems, and the sooner those problems are treated, the better the prognosis. As your cat ages, we'll want to do a complete physical examination, paying special attention to weight loss, increased vomiting, bigger urine clumps, and increased thirst. These are all signs of common diseases in older cats, such as diabetes mellitus, hyperthyroidism, and chronic kidney failure. Outdoor cats have a shorter lifespan and likely live for three to 10 years. Here's why. First, they're often not spayed or neutered. A fertile cat can produce three litters per year on average, and the average number of kittens in a feline litter is four to six. Young cat moms who spend most of their lives carrying, birthing, and providing milk to their litters can suffer from malnutrition and an array of health issues. Male cats that aren't neutered have testosterone that triggers them and makes them more likely to fight, roam, spray, or display other hostile behaviors. The second thing is outdoor cats are often not vaccinated. Cats, including strays and ferals, are very territorial creatures. Fighting is common and one of the quickest ways to spread disease. Consider some of these scary facts. Feline leukemia is passed from one cat to another through saliva, blood, and to some extent, urine and feces. 
Kittens can contract the disease in utero, in the uterus, and through infected mother's milk. The disease can also live in food and water bowls for some time. What's more, in 2015, the CDC reported that there were 244 cases of rabid cats in the U.S. Rabies in cats is always fatal. The third thing is outdoor cats lack regular access to clean water and food. Outdoor cats must often rely on the erratic kindness of the neighbor to put out some dry kibble, hunt local wildlife, or raid a garbage can in order to feed themselves. Worse, their access to clean water is very limited. They may be forced to drink out of puddles or other stagnant pools of water, which can be filled with bacteria, parasites, or even poisons like motor oil and antifreeze. The fourth thing is outdoor cats are exposed to traffic in the elements. The deadliest predator of all, humans. They account for hundreds of thousands of feline deaths each year due to vehicular trauma. Although there are no official statistics for the United States, trauma remains one of the leading causes of death in cats. And it's not the traffic outdoor cats are dodging, it's also the weather. They may face long cold winters, flooded springs, the searing summers, all while trying to protect their kittens from these same elements. The wear and tear of being an outdoor cat is intense, to say the least. Lastly, outdoor cats often end up in a high intake animal shelter. A neighbor may finally take pity on a stray neighborhood cat, trap them, and deliver them to a shelter. Unfortunately, the number of high intake shelters across the United States far outweighs the number of no-kill shelters. This means that strays are likely to be euthanized. According to the ASPCA, almost 1 million shelter cats are euthanized in the United States every year. To help your cat live longer, keep them indoors. Make sure you provide a safe environment, a healthy diet, and make sure to take them to a veterinarian to keep them healthy.